Hello folks, we've just got this cow into the crush. She's a little bit camera shy, but her foot is infected, but it also needs a haircut. Sounds a bit bizarre, I know, but keep watching to see how we treated it. This is Tech TV, and for lots more weird and wonderful hoof trimming videos, hit that subscribe button. Stuff, Gareth? That stuff right there is more important than bringing the crush to work. Right. Top of the morning to you. Get me to the farm. With the light in here, Tom, it looks like we've both been on the tanning beds. Mm, I think I've maybe missed a wee bit here. What? <laughs> I haven't, but Tom could have been. Mm -hmm. See you on the farm. Just like that, we've arrived and the sun has come out for the day. Yes, let's go and easy fix some hooves. We're doing a herd trim today. It's gonna to be a busy day. The cows are all walking really nicely, but I'm sure we'll come across something interesting. And when we do, we'll be sure to film it. Excellent. Let's get set up. Let's go. And when I say the sun's come out, what I really mean is it's just brightened up. It's a little bit damper today, although if you see Brian in the background there, he is expecting sun, he's got a shorts on, but it's a little bit damp here, so, but thankfully we're under a roof today. We'll get this green machine behind me off the van and into position. We can't be hoof trimmers without hooves to trim. Sounds like an obvious thing to say, but the first part of the day is getting the first batch of cows into the collecting yard. The first part of this trim, I'm just gonna routinely trim this cow's foot. I'm gonna forget about the haircut just for now. I'm gonna balance the claws, and then we'll address the issue above at the dew claws where she needs that haircut and infection treated. A lot of you love hearing the farming sounds in the background of our videos. In today's video, as I trim this foot, you can hear Tom on the phone, birds tweeting, and the sound of the knife modelling out the hoof. So that's the functional trim part of this done. Now we're gonna deal with the haircut. This cow's dew claw is a little bit distorted here with the dermatitis getting in underneath it, as you can see here. I'm gonna wipe it off with a wipe soon. But you can see the way it is starting to erode in underneath the dew claw there. So I wanna take away the sharp edge here. that. I'm going to get in here with this wipe gently and just, so, sorry girl, sorry girl. Now I'm going to deal with the haircut on this cow here, just trim away. Have I had that much hair growth? I should have really been calling in Marcus to do this job. He's my personal barber, but I don't think he'd come out and do this to this cow's foot today. He might get too dirty. This infectious dermatitis has got lots of different names. One name that it gets is hairy warts, and that really suits this case. The reason I'm trimming off the hair is to prevent more slurry from getting stuck to it. Dermatitis thrives in damp, dirty environments, so we really want to clean this up in the first stage of the treatment. Do you think you'd be a good barber, Tom? Oh, excellent, excellent, I have to do everything. I know Brian behind me doesn't really need a barber as much, but 
it's uh, this cow certainly does right now. So as I said there, cleaning this up is really important. So I want to clean it with some disinfectant and make sure it's nice and dry before the salicylic acid is applied. With that two-in-one trim and haircut done on that cow, it's time to go back to Tom and get on and finish the rest of this herd. Folks, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all on the next video.